friends, hope you're doing good. Of the five series that I bring in here, today's one is going to be one in the series, Travel the Marvel. So, ready to embark on a virtual tour with me? Today, we would be traveling to one of the iconic locations of the world. Any guesses? Yes, we are heading to Africa, precisely to one of its central savanna regions, Masai Mara. And what do we see there today? We would see one of the nature's marvel, rather a one of its kind. And who is giving us this experience? Animals. Hold on. Are you thinking of a safari tour? That's not all of it. There is more in store. Tell me, how many animals have you seen together at a time? 10, 20? What if I say you can see thousands of them together? Well, you can see this marvel in the world's largest land migration, the Great Migration. Heard of it? It's a spectacle on earth where millions of wildebeest and zebras make a whole year round circuit starting from Serengeti in Tanzania to Masai Mara in Kenya and back. And they do this every single year. Rather explain what it is. Let me take you through their journey with the iconic river crossing. Let's go straight to Masai Mara. That's the open savanna and the mighty Mara River. Here are the wildebeest. Can you count them? I cannot do. These mammals live in herds and migrate in larger numbers. All for what? Green pasture. Let's go closer to understand them better. The wildebeest settle over a grazing ground and spend days grazing. And once there is no pasture left, the leader takes the call either to resume the migration or stay back on the grazing grounds for few more days. Do you observe a pattern? They move in straight lines, each blindly following the one ahead of it till they reach the next grazing grounds. Once he decides, the whole herd starts the journey. Their journey is highly challenging as there is a lot of teeth waiting for them not just on the plains but as well in the rivers. Their migration circuit crosses through two main rivers and the Mara River is one of it. This herd has made up its mind to move and on to battle their game of survival. Where are they all heading now? To the Mara River. Let's also join them and see how the river comes into action. The sloopy banks as the one you see here are the ideal crossing spots and the teeth waiting for them. The wildebeest are not alone in this journey. They have a companion, the zebras. The zebras and the wildebeest together migrate hand in hand and share a beautiful understanding. The secret is the zebras can sense where the predators are and the wildebeest know where the food is. Just like the wildebeest, the zebras too have a leader. When the pasture is exhausted and the herds decide to move, the leader of the zebras inspects the river for any potential danger. The wildebeest then follow. With this high vigilance on, even a single sense of danger, they just bounce back. This happens to and fro again and again. A 
after hours of time lapse, they again re inspect or just decide not to cross the river to day. Maybe tomorrow? No one knows. Once they feel the scene safe, the herd barges into the river and crosses it as quickly as possible to escape the teeth of death. The river crossing has begun. Once the crossing starts, the whole herd clings on together. Unity is their safety. You see them? They are so quick on their toes. They got to really rush for their lives. That's the iconic Mara River crossing. They got to watch out all the time as they can be taken to a shark anytime. The rest of the herd joins them quickly and in no time they climb up to the grasslands. This is a chance they never want to miss. There you see a few latecomers. This herd has made it safe this time. And successful in escaping from the mighty crocs. This is another herd crossing a tributary of the Mara River. They got to watch out all the time as they can be taken to a shark anytime. That was quick. Their battle is not over yet. They have a lot of challenges waiting ahead. Can you see the end of the line? I cannot do. They just need to keep moving in search of food, battling all the odds in this game of life and death, ear on ear. We are back. How was that? No doubt, in this game of life and death, they got to be really lucky every time. And we got to be really lucky to witness the spectacle once in a lifetime. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know with your likes and comments. And if we are meeting for the first time and you think we should meet often, do click the subscribe button and the bell icon below. This is Suman Prakash signing off till we meet again in another interesting video. Till then, keep smiling. All is well.